Okay. Do you want to learn how to create a cinematic, awesome slideshow like the one you're watching right now? Then stay with me. I'll definitely show you how. Hey, welcome to VC Creator Secret Tutorials. Before we get started, if you're new here, I encourage you to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you will be notified when I publish new tutorials every week. For more unique awesome videos like this, check the links in the description below. So without further ado, let's get started. So in order to pull this off, we're going to need some images. And I have my here. We also need audios and probably soundtracks. And we have some of them. Fimora have some of them. So, and if you don't have, you can import, you can download some. And if you want me to link it below, just leave a comment below and I will link it so you can download it and use it for free. So, drag then our first image, drag it to the timeline. Let's get rid of the black space by the side. Right click on it, go to pan and zoom, go to crop and zoom, pan and zoom, change the ratio to 69 and make some adjustment. We're going to add some movement to it too. We don't want it to be too fast. So just make the movement very slow, kind of cinematic, uh, you know, effects. So I think this is okay. You can make some changes if you want. And you click OK. This is our first image. Now let's play them. See, so we got something like that. So let's drag then our our audio. So drag then the audio you want to use. Uh, it's a kind of cinematic sound effects. Just like I say, if you need it, just let me know in the comment below, and I'll link it eventually. Or if you have it, you can use the one you have. So it's a kind of cinematic sound, so we drag it and drop it. So let's go ahead and add our other images. So we can highlight our images, just click on the ones you want by holding down control key on your, on your keyboard. Then you go ahead and click on all the images you want, one after the other. When you're done, all you need to do is to drag them to the timeline. Drag and drop them on the timeline. Now we have all our images. So let's start with the first one. Let's make some animation. Right click and go to crop and zoom. Then go to pan and zoom. Change the ratio to 69. Then make some adjustment there. Then let's add some motion to it. You can widen the, 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 the window right there if you want it to be slow and if you want it to be fast, make the window smaller. Now go to the next one, right click, go to pan and zoom, make some adjustment to it, add motion to it, uh, slow movement is okay. So you go to the next one, right click, go to pan and zoom, pan. change the ratio to 16, 9, then add motion to it. Then you click OK. Then you go to next one, do the same thing, go to crop and zoom, pan and zoom, change it to 16, 9, add some motion to it, drag the inner window. When it's OK, you click OK. So. Follow the same process and do the same to all your images. It doesn't matter how many images you have. Just take your time, do it one after the other. And just like we did for the other ones, all you need to do is to right click on it and go to crop and zoom, then pan and zoom, then change the scale to 16 9 ratio. Then make some changes, add some motion to it, especially the motion shouldn't be too sharp probably just like small motion it depends on what you want anyway so follow the same process and do the same to all the other images All right, 
when you're done with the animation you can pre-render it then preview it while listening to the sound make sure the sound goes with the pictures now we're gonna do some changes to this picture highlight all the pictures we wanna re re reduce the duration so right click on it and click on duration instead of 5 when I change it to something like um, 20 millisecond and now we have this we've cropped all our images at the same time reduce the duration and if you wanted to adjust like this make sure your repo or tool repo is not on is on I mean so now this is what we're going to use close the gap so these images we have trimmed them down to 20 millisecond or frame so this is how it's going to be it's going to be this fast so we have our cinematic music already there sound there but we're going to add another sound sound like um click from from camera and we have it in filmora go to sound effect in filmora then click on that camera sound a kind of click of camera so make sure you align it it should go with the movement it's gonna look like this so drag those effects down and align it make sure it goes together with the picture you kind of click of snapshot click 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 like that So drag it down and align it, test it, if it is cool, then we can move forward. So take your time and do it anyway, just rearrange it. All right, when you're done with that, we're gonna add, add some effect to it. It's gonna be actually randomly. Uh, you don't have to be too specific here, but if you want to do the same thing I do just you can slow down the system the video I mean or you can just follow what I'm picking I mean I just call them out, but because I'm going through them just randomly too You can test them Drag it down drop it at the top or on the image Then you can test it if it's what you want you leave it if it's not you delete it so just go through it one after the other and pick uh, the suitable uh, effect you know, for you. So let's start with the first image. Now we have something like this, I think, isn't it cinematic? Let's go to our second or third face. Now let's drag then some images. Now this is the first one, first image you know we have. Drag them the second and the third. You know you highlight them and just drag them down at the same time. We still have our music. Remember, our music is still there. So we're gonna add some we're gonna crop these images just crop the images one after the other right click on it go to crop and zoom palm and zoom then you change you change the sustain you change it to sustain nine the ratio then add some motion to it do the same to all your other images one after the other Now that we're done with our cropping and animation, 
we can go through it and see what we have so far so highlight everything and let's reduce uh, let's first of all add some music some sound so let's add this particular sound it's a kind of uh, a sound of um, glitches kind of glitch you know sound just check your femora library audio library and you will find something like that there the kind of glitch glitch sound so highlight the images right click on them and click on duration and the duration let's also reduce the duration you can pick what I have there or you choose another one now we have reduced our images to the same duration so we're gonna have this movement all right we're not done yet we can add some effects to the images and just like I said we we're gonna add some a kind of a glitch you know effect something like this yeah exactly something like this so go to effect and search for glitch and you will find many of them there so just go through it and find and drag them the one that suits you so you have this glitch glitch effects i remember we're gonna add the sound to and more actually ha have that sound to glitch effect you know sound you can use it or if you have yours you can also use that so let's drag down the sound this is a sound of kind of glitch glitch so drag it down make sure you align it with the pictures cut then the part you don't want and you drag it keep align it and once you get the right sound you understand it could take time but just make sure you get the right sound cut out cut out any part you don't want now this is the effect we have we have a kind of this glitch effect Now drag them and arrange, align the audios to go together with the images, with the picture. So I think now we have almost all the sound we need so it will see you just go over it and make sure you make some changes to it make sure you have the right sound the sound should go with the glitches and also the movement of the images just have just know that all right so far i think we we're doing great pretty well you can hear my but when I'm done, I'm gonna play it and you will hear exactly how it is. So now it's another effect we're gonna add this. We're just gonna manipulate things here actually. Just a kind of the glitch effect. We want a kind of this exactly something like this, like this effect right there. Yes. So in order to create that, let's get our solid uh, color. Let's use black. Just trim it down to one frame, major. Just one frame. Trim it down to one frame. You can expand it until you get that one frame. So when you get it, all you need to do, we're going to duplicate it. So copy it, copy and paste. So we're going to duplicate it. In between, you leave uh, some frame gap or some frame. So now we double click it and paste it. Now make sure you leave a space in between. Now copy it again and paste. Keep copying and paste it until you have all the ones you want. So all you need to do is to be copying and paste. 
make sure there's a space in between until you get exactly what you're looking for. So I think so far maybe this could do. Let's drag it. Let's drag it to the top of the of the glitch effects. Let's drop, let's drag and drop it right on top of it. And now we have something like this. This is gonna give us exactly the kind of effect to one as it kind of black space right side. Uh, but from all indication, I don't like it this way. It's too thick. But what we're gonna do here is that the something is too wide when frame is too wide. So what we need to do, we're gonna highlight them and reduce the duration. Exactly, something like this. So pre-render it for a smooth playback. Now that we have all our, we have everything in place. Now you can test it and see how it is. The dark will come as a kind of flash and it gives a uh, cinematic look, cinematic effect. So this is exactly what we want, this effect right here. So actually we're not done yet, we can do some more, what we're going to do is to add some images toward the end, we can add three or more, but I think three would do here, so drag the image and drop it on the timeline, then crop and zoom, edit your image, make sure the, mo the movement is kind of slow movement just like this so you crop that image and probably you can expand it because we're gonna use this as a background so you can go to effect and drag and drop square blow and that will make the object blow something like this you can reduce the opacity to around 70 or so so this is our background now we're gonna add some images probably three images should be okay let's go through the images drag the first one and drop it on it All right, now we have one image on top of our background. Now let's, let's look for other images, probably three images. So here's the last one. Just stack it on top of each other. So now we have all our three images. Now double click on it and go to transform. On the transform, you change the scale to either 70 or 80, doesn't matter.
So uh, we've come to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed. I want to thank you for, for watching. So before you smash the export button, make sure you go through your your project, your video once again. If there's anything, if there's anything you need to correct, you can make the correction before you render it. Because if you do render it, you have to come back and do it all over again. So you can save yourself some trouble and make sure you do it. Just go through it, make some changes. And when you're done, the next thing you need to do is to smash the export button and your video will be exported and you will have your final result just like this one. Isn't it awesome? If you enjoyed this video and find it valuable, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so I can keep making them. For more awesome and unique videos like this, hit the subscribe button and remember to click on the notification bell. Also be sure to check out my other videos on this channel as well. And don't forget to leave a comment below, I love it. Be sure to watch the videos on the screen that we handpicked for you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.